Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to execute a swap within the SIF chain DEX. There are a couple different ways you can get to the, the swap functionality. Um, one of those ways is directly within your balances listing. Um, you can click on a, the ellipses that's associated with one of the, the tokens um, listed in your balances, and you'll see the swap button, which will take you to the swap modal with that token uh, pre-filled in for you. Um, the second way that you can get to the swap functionality is through the navigation bar icon over here on the left-hand side. So I am going to click on swap from here. This will take me to my swap modal. Um, again, the, the, the swap modal will, will need a, a few pieces of, of key information, um, which I'll describe here. We need the, the from token that you're trying to swap from. So which token are you are you willing to give? And then the to token, so which token are you wanting to receive for, uh, for the swap? In each of these fields, you can click on the token dropdown and you can see all of the tokens um, that are, are available to, to swap from and then your associated balances of that token as well for easy reference. And once you select your token, we'll call in your balance up here also for easy reference. And then which token you're trying to swap to also has the token dropdown and you can um, select which token you're trying to drop to again with the associated balances here. And then once you select your token, we automatically call in uh, the balance of that token as well for easy reference. Now we'll go in here and I'll we'll put in an amount. So in this case, I want to um, swap, do, 100 Rowan um, for some ETH. The next field um, is, is what slippage um, that I'm willing to, to incur based off of the swap um, with a few key uh, or easy to click options here. Um, and then you can also type in manually the, the percentage as well. Below that, we, we show uh, uh, some more details uh, just to help you with your swap. One being the, the price that you're, you're essentially paying for the swap. The next field being the minimum received, which is um, basically the amount that the, the minimum amount that you will be guaranteed to receive based on the slippage that you've set, or if it dips below that, that minimum amount, um, the transaction will fail. The price impact, so the price impact on the, the tokens that you're gonna have based off of the swap, and then the liquidity provider fee, which is the uh, amount of fee that you will be paying to the uh, to the liquidity providers, basically for for them providing liquidity, so you can execute the swap. Each of these fields have a uh, hover tooltip over it as well. So in case you're you're just wanting a bit more information or you're not sure on what these um, what these things mean, uh, you can hover over these tooltips and you'll get a, a brief description um, of these fields as well. So in this case, I will click that I want to swap. I'll get a confirmation screen, uh, basically showing me uh, the, the same information that was on the previous screen, but it's kind of like uh, an extra double check that you're sure that you want to execute the swap. In this case, I will confirm. This will trigger my wallet, which I need to approve the transaction. And once I do that, it has been submitted and I now have um, my balances will be updated accordingly with the, the less amount of, of Rowan um, that I swapped from and then the additional amount of ETH that I swapped to now. And now I'm free to move on uh, with my day. Thank you.